Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the subtraction questions on the Year 2 uh, Key Stage 1 Arithmetic SATs test. Um, the SATs tests in Year 2 are going to be still going on in school. They run throughout the whole month of May. Um, I did a previous video on um, all the fractions questions that would come up in the arithmetic paper, and this video is all about the subtraction questions. I'm going to continue to put videos on throughout this, throughout this month, um, to the end of the week, just so that uh, you can help your child do as best they can in their year two sats. Hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out. Thanks a lot. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the questions in the key stage one year two sats arithmetic paper. And I'm going to show you how we would teach the children to solve subtraction problems. Here is the first one. I'm not going to look at the other problems in this test. I just want to focus on the subtraction problems in this, in this video. So, 18 take away 6. There's a several ways you can teach the child to do this. You can ask them to put 18 in their head and then to count back in 6, six times. Okay, So we'd go 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. OK, and that number is 12. Another way you can do it, if they can't do that, counting back, you would draw, get them to draw a tens and ones grid like this. And then you would get them to make the big number, which is 18, which is 110, represented here as a line, because that's what we use uh, in class. We use a Dean's line, OK, shown here to show a 10. And then we've got eight ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And all they have to do is to cross out the take, uh, take away the amount that's shown. So taking away six, we'll cross out six, one, two, three, four, five, six. What is left? We've got 10 here and we've got six here. Sorry, we've got two here by mistake, making the same answer we had just a second ago, 12. So there's two ways they could do it. Um, let's have another look now at another subtraction question. So this one, question five, 80 take away 10. So again, you could do 80 in your head and count back in tens, okay? Just one 10 in this case, 80 take away 10 is 70. But again, if they can't do that, you might want them to get the draw the grid out. You do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then we're taking away one 10, so we'll cross that out, leaving. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So there are two ways there that you could do it. Counting back in tens is the mental, is the really way they should be able to do it in their head. But if they're not at that stage yet, there's also the written method. Okay, I'm gonna skip these out because they're not subtraction questions. No subtraction questions on these pages. We come to another subtraction question on here. So with this question, 64 take away 11, a perfect question for the written method. Step one, get them to draw the grid. Tens and ones. Step two, we're drawing the biggest number first. How many tens and how many ones does it have? Six tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and four ones. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to take away, and we would tell the children take away the tens first and then the ones. So take away one ten, gone. Take away a one, gone. What's left? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 over here. And how many ones? One, two, three. Leaving us with an answer of 53. Going over to the next page, we've got 39 take away 20. I've already done a similar question. They could count back in tens or draw the grid here. 54 take away eight. This is interesting. It's the first question where we're going to have to borrow from the tens. So I'm gonna draw out the grid again, tens and ones. They could just count back eight. But if they can't count back eight in their heads, it's another way of doing it. Draw the tens and then the ones first. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and four ones. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to take away eight ones. But uh oh, we can't do that. There are only four ones here. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow a 10. And this is how we teach them. We borrow it, we draw it, draw a line like this. And it now moves from the tens into the ones. I cross it out because I've used it. Now let's count eight, one, ten ones over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've exchanged now. I've borrowed a ten from the tens and I've made it into ten ones. Now I can take eight away, cross out eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, leaving me with 10, 20, 30, 40 over here, and over here, leaving with six. Add those two parts together, 46 makes 46. Final subtraction question. Again, in this question, the children would need to be able to borrow, so we're going to draw the tens and ones grid. We're going to make the biggest number 62 first, tens and ones, six tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, two ones. And now we're going to take away 54. First of all, let's take away the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. But look, we can't take away four ones from two ones. So we're going to show them how to borrow. We're going to take this 10 over here. Cross it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we can cross out four ones. 1, 2, 3, 4. Leaving us with zero tens over here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. A final answer of eight. That's the last question, guys. I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.